For a minute there, I was scared. I didn't think I'd make it back to Japan alive. I risked my life to bring this treasure back. You sure that's what this is, Ogi? It just looks like an old jar to me. I hope it's full of gold or something. No, nectar. Wait, that's it? Must be good. You've no idea, Sugio. I got this nectar from a tribe in South America I happened across. They actually worship the giant plant that they extract the stuff from. The nectar is so delicious that it tastes like it's imbued with the power of the gods. Trust me, you've never tasted anything like this before. It's heavenly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need to lay it on thick. Mm, that's so sweet. Mm, seriously unbelievable. Want to have a little taste? Sure, why not? Hand the jar over. Okay, but first, I need to warn you not to be noticed while you're eating it. That's real important, apparently. Huh? Who besides you would notice me? Let me guess. Is there some kind of angry nectar god watching? <laughs> yeah, I suppose it must sound pretty damn crazy to you. But the tribe's people were especially adamant about making sure I understood what they said. So whatever you do, don't be noticed. Mm. It's good! Hey, Ogie, you home or what? What are you doing back there, Kamada? Using the side entrance. Look, the window's open. Ugh. That's not cool, man. You can't just break into Ogie's house. Come on, he won't mind. Mm. There it is. Time to try this famous nectar. I'm sure he won't miss any of it. But just a taste, okay, you guys? I don't want Ogie to be pissed off at me. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, wow! This stuff's amazing! Here, you gotta try it. You're right. I don't even know how to describe it except to say it's delicious. Where'd he get it? I could eat this stuff all day. Mm, this is incredible. I'm not leaving after just one taste of this stuff. Let's eat the whole jar. No way, we can't do that. This is Ogi's nectar, man. There's so much, it's not fair for him to keep it all to himself. Before we eat more, do you smell something funky in here? Yeah, like someone left meat out and it rotted. I think it's coming from over here. <gasps> Does that look like blood to you guys, too? <gasps> I don't know, but we should probably get out of here. Come on, you've got way more than us, man. I measured it out equally. Oh, mm. oh that's it. So good. <laughs> oh, yum. What part of South America does this delicious oh. stuff come from? I don't know. I doubt Ogie could find it again if he tried. Oh. What the hell just happened to him? I think he just exploded. Look there, his glasses. Oh, this isn't possible. How did he get smashed against the wall? Call the police! Don't you dare! That'll cause problems. Then what are we supposed to do? He's been splattered all over my room! I don't get it. How did this happen? Maybe we're all having the same nightmare. This can't be real life. You're right. This is just a dream. Soon we'll wake up. 
Well, I hope the dream started after we found this nectar at least. I'd be so depressed if this stuff wasn't real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The nectar. I think if we keep eating it, we're gonna explode. No, that doesn't make a lick of sense. All of us had the same amount of it. Are we all gonna die? Is this going to happen to me too? Oki said not to be noticed when you drink this. I have no idea what that means, but that's what the tribe told him. So, maybe we just don't eat it anymore. <laughs> It's no use. Everything I try tastes so bad. I can't even swallow it. Ever since I tried that nectar, I haven't been able to eat any food. <laughs> the only thing I can think about is filling my mouth with this damn exploding stuff. Also, have you seen the news? They found several other flattened bodies around town, not just Riruko and Yasmin. I thought for sure one of them would be Kamida. But it wasn't. That's true, but I did notice that some of his friends had been killed. They must have eaten some of that cursed nectar themselves. Maybe he got scared and gave it away so he wouldn't be tempted by it. Hey, long time no see, guys. Kamida. Damn, you guys look really skinny. I bet I know why. You can't eat the food here, huh? I wish we'd never tried this nectar. I know. It's the only thing that tastes okay to us anymore. Only... It's way too dangerous for us to eat now. You could drink it, as long as you were sure that you weren't being noticed. Well, yeah. Huh? I've tested a few things to see how it works, what gets you noticed, and what lets you survive the nectar. What do you mean, tested? What have you been doing? Don't look at me like that. Those guys kept begging me for more of the stuff. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you find a trick? No. I gave away the last of mine. Still have no idea how people get noticed. I can't stand it anymore! I have to eat some! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, hold on! <laughs> it's so good! Damn it! I'm having some too! Saw what? I saw some giant thing swoop down and smash Sugio like he was just a little insect! <laughs> yes! Something from the sky crushed him into a pulp! I get it! Why didn't I realize it earlier? We just can't let it smash us! I'll show you! Wait! Come back! <laughs> See? I'll be fine in the water it can't get me out here! <laughs> what have we got here? A map? <coughs> this thing has led me all the way to South America. It's gotta take me to the tribe that gave Ogi the nectar to begin with. Damn it. So many mosquitoes. What kind of a plant is this? No way. One of its branches just vanished into thin air. Now it's back. What's going on with this tree? That's it. The tree smells like the nectar. I see now. This is where it must come from. The source. <laughs> I'll have all the nectar I could ever want. <laughs> all the girls at school are in love with Otsuka. Of course they are. When the two of us became an item, they all started ignoring me, but I didn't care. Last week, though, Otsuka was hospitalized with mysterious pains in his stomach. And now, well... 
<laughs> what a genius I am! Hmm? <laughs> Looky here! I've got sharp fangs now! <laughs> oh, hey there! What are you ladies talking about? Can you believe that? What? She dares to ignore me? Hey, hey, Suichi! People are saying you got a job delivering papers? Like you'd never wake up that early. Uh, what? I have no idea what you're talking about! Okay, fine, darn it! Who told you guys about my cool new Wait. job? Wait, it's really true? Did you hear? Soichi joined an adult baseball team as a pinch hitter, and he hit a home run in his first game! Hey, listen, I heard Soichi helped a sick old lady he didn't know cross the street yesterday. Isn't he nice? Mm. Finally! There you guys are! I have super big news! Well, come on, let's hear it. You aren't gonna believe this gossip. Soichi's cousin is Kentaro Kagawa! You know, the guy from the smog! <sighs> oh, so you want an autograph, huh? Come on, don't tease us, pretty please. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Just have him sign something as a favor for his cousin. Oh, darn, how'd you find out? I was trying to keep that stuff a secret. I didn't want you guys to know about my favorite cousin, Kentaro. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. I'll get you some autographs. In fact, I can probably get him to sign something for each of you girls. Ah! You're the best boy in school! <laughs> and just like that, all the girls here are in love with me. It didn't take all that long for them to change their tunes. <laughs> oh, I've got a good idea. I'll say I can only get one autograph and make them fight tooth and nail for it. Whoever beats the other girls will be the one who loves me the most. <laughs> Am I doing this right? I brought flowers, but what if he thinks that's stupid? What if he laughs at me? No, I'm here. I can't turn back now. Do you mind a visitor? Oh, hey, it's good to see you. You didn't have to stop by. Don't be silly. <laughs> Hi there, Midori. Oh, uh, hey, Madoka, what are you doing up here? I was just in the neighborhood and figured I'd stop by. I hate that you went through the trouble of coming, but I'm really glad you both did. Is your stomach feeling any better? Yeah, I'm almost back to normal. It definitely doesn't hurt like it did a few nights ago when I thought I was dying. I should be getting out of here pretty soon. Good. More importantly, though, did you hear that Soichi saved a little kid from being hit by a car the other day? The dude could have been killed. <gasps> and apparently the principal was really impressed by his bravery. Somehow overnight, Suichi became a hero. But I was more concerned about Madoka. What was she doing at the hospital? Did she like Otsuka? And if so, how did he feel about her? I've seen in magazines. This is obviously something he just threw together. There's no possible way that little creep could be related to someone as famous as he is. Hey, where'd Suichi go? 
Over there, he's running away. <laughs> a few days after I exposed Suichi, something weird happened. A disturbing photograph showed up in our classroom, taped to the blackboard for everyone to see. What is that? It looks like it was cut out of a magazine, but that can't be right. Her face is terrifying. I recognize that monster! What's with you? You can't be that scared of her, it's just a picture. It was in a fashion magazine my mom brought home from the grocery store! Nah, I don't buy it. There's no way someone this creepy could actually be a model. It's a joke. No, look, it's a lipstick ad. She's a highly respected model. My sister didn't sleep for a week after she saw her in the magazine. Man, just hurry up and tear it down. Strange rumors started going around a few days later. They spread through our school like wildfire. A couple of fourth graders were heading home from school when they came across the creature. It was already nighttime, and the streets were dark. They couldn't make out much of the woman's body, but she was incredibly tall, towering several feet over them. She stood in the middle of the road and didn't say a word to them, just stared. It wasn't until they turned to go the other way that she finally said something to them. A single question. What was it? Tell me, do you think I'm beautiful? By then, their eyes were starting to adjust to the darkness, and slowly but surely, her horrible face came into view. She was smiling. They got scared and tried to run, but she chased after them. She was so fast that she was on their heels the whole time. Her hair was flailing wildly behind her like a crown of snakes. I'm going to gobble you up whenever I catch you. That's what she told them. You know that rumor? The woman in it sounds like the one in the photograph to me. Wait, who are you talking about? You know, the picture that was stuck up on the blackboard the other day, the gross one. Oh yeah, right. I kind of tried to forget about that lady. I heard that model lives somewhere around here. <laughs> yeah, apparently she goes down to the Maiden's Abyss on the edge of town to bathe a lot. Ew, why? They say that soaking in the swamp will make you beautiful. People come in from around the world for it. Hmm. Class, I know many of you are upset about some strange rumors going around. Rest assured, there is no truth to them. There's no reason to be alarmed. Moving on, we have a happy announcement. After a long stay in the hospital, Otsuka is all better and finally in class again. <laughs> it's good to be back. All right, all right, come on. Over here. <laughs> you know, I don't mind coming to school now that Otsuka's here. He makes it seem much better. 100%. I don't even care about those monster stories anymore. Mm hmm By the way, did you hear the rumor going around about Madoka? Huh? I don't think so. What's the story? Someone said she's been going down and soaking in the mud at Maiden's Abyss lately. You know, the swamp they say is supposed to make you beautiful. And I believe it. I I'm look gonna... at her up against that wall. She's been standing there for quite a while looking pretty. It's so obvious that she's hanging around so Otsuka will notice her. So, what do you think you should do, Midori? If you don't make a move, she'll steal Otsuka right out from under your nose. Slimy, but I have to do this. It's worth it if it will make me beautiful. <laughs> it worked! I can't believe you fell for well, it! Suichi, what are you doing out here? <laughs> I've been following you, obviously. I was wondering how long it'd take before you did it, wading into the swamp like an idiot! I made up all those stories from the monster in the middle of the road to the idea of Monica rolling around in the mud here. Everything was just a rumor I created so I could trick you into tonight! That magazine clipping was surprisingly effective if I do say so myself! <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop it! Do not take pictures of me like but this! But that's the whole point! What? I'm gonna tell the whole school that you came to the swamp to soak in mud because you want to be beautiful! It's payback for embarrassing me so much! You gross little pervert! You can't do this! Just one! Huh. What the heck? That was kind of weird. I guess something must have scared him off. Do you know 
know what a bad idea it is to take my photograph without permission? How did you know I was here in the first place? You're disturbing my beauty rest. Did a publisher send you? I'm a pro fashion model after all. That's why anyone who takes a photo of me without my permission has to be dealt with. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you never make this mistake again. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> You look so tender and delicious. This will be a treat for me. <laughs> that model really was in our town. I've never heard of such a terrifying coincidence. But I wonder what will happen to Suichi. What a creepy, beautiful lady.